in the last class we had done the drift velocity and we had seen that we, we had we had seen that i is equal to m e a v d right where 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 v d is the, the v d was was the drift velocity right so so and we had also seen that seen that that as as my area of cross section goes down and i remains the same then it will be the vd that will have to com compensate for this by by speeding up the vd will have to compensate for the same current fine now we already have the relationship where vd is expressed in terms of e e upon upon uh, and, and i'm talking about mod vd right so mod vd is expressed as e e upon m tau right <clears throat> now if i if i kind of substitute that so i is equal to n e a i should say mod vd and mod vd right i should say mod vd i should say mod vd Okay, and mod VD, if I substitute the value, so N E A into E E upon M, and that should give me give me N E square, N E square a, a, and a tau, right? So so that should give me N E square E A tau tau upon m right so that is my i correct so these two they they become very important when you when you are solving numericals so one of this that we had marked last time and and this and they are the fallout of this the second one is the fallout of the first one and and and, and this relationship so they become very very important while solving the numericals right so this and and this right correct these three <clears throat> if you know this you you know this then you substitute this and you get the third one right so 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 not much of a problem now it it again becomes interesting now what happens is if i decide to divide this i by a in the above equation so so let's say for convenience name this equation number 1 equation number 2 and here equation number 3 then i upon a becomes equal to n e square n e square into e upon m into tau <coughs> And, and 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 let me let me kind of take this tau within and this e out so that it will be easier for us for the next step so this into e right now i upon a i know is is the term j right j which is which is the current density correct and current density is a vector so j is equal to n e square tau e upon upon m right now now if if i restore their vector notation so 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 j is a vector and j is in the direction of e okay and we know that j is such that j dot j dot a vector right becomes equal to i i we cannot take as a vector for the reasons that we already know because because it does not add as a vector right so that's why we had to perforce use this j because because there are correlations right that that have to be in vector form so now now this j we we had earlier also found out a relationship where where j was equal to the ohm's law the, the vector form of Ohm's law where j was equal to 
is equal to was equal to sigma into e we have done that derivation if you remember right so so that and and let's name it equation number 4 so you understand if i if i compare this now now i have this this again becomes another equation right so there are multiple equations here you don't have to get scared they are all derivable from each other and you should be in a position to derive them right so the fifth equation the fifth equation is is such that this right Correct. now if you compare comparing equation 4 and 5 comparing equation 4 and 5 what do you get 4 and 5 what do you get we we get an interesting thing we see that that this part this this part of this equation this part this part is is nothing but but this right so so this should be they are the same so this tells me that 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 sigma and sigma is nothing but but conductivity conductivity sigma conductivity sigma is equal to n e square tau upon n right correct and, and and that is another equation and and you might feel burdened by the multiplicity of equations but again i'm telling you they are all interrelated and derivable from each other if you know the basics and you can derive it and conductivity is one pound resistivity obviously yeah so 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 you can get resistivity from here right so 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 rho is nothing but one upon sigma and that becomes m upon upon n e square tau now this this equation also is is very very important and interesting why because till now we we knew for example for conductors the resistivity increases right because the resistance increases now resistance depends on three things right resistance depends on on rho l upon a and the dimension obviously is not changing with temperature so what is happening so that resistivity is increasing right we know that resistivity increases but this equation the the uh, let me let me name this chronologically the the sixth equation this one this one is sixth and this one is seventh right so the seventh equation gives you the microscopic picture it is a microscopic thing tau the rela the relaxation time it's a microscopic thing a statistical microscopic thing e is the charge on an electron n is the number of electrons per unit volume m is the mass of the electron right so this is a microscopic reflection of what is happening and whatever is happening macroscopically macroscopically we see that this r is changing we know that this is changing how is that changing this is changing changing by this equation so there must be something happening here that should lead to a change in the resistivity right and, and we come to that when we discuss the resistivity of the conductors and semiconductors and the insulators it is this equation that we refer back to okay so you should be able to first of all understand how it came from all these relationships and using the 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 ohm's law in vector form using the ohm's law in ohm's law in vector form okay and 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 this will tell us why in conductors the resistivity goes up and why in semiconductors and insulators the resistivity goes down there the conductivity goes up 
okay it is the reverse so you will find you will find your insulators the the maybe the cable coverings they are they fail during the summers due to the increased heat maybe due to dust okay so the electrical failures increase during summers due to due to this equation in a sense what happens in that that equation we'll come back later because right now we 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 are focused on on discussing something else right so this is my conductivity and 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 the reciprocal of that is my resistivity fine 